So if you can even hear me over all this plastic that is flapping. All right, today's plan, we are going to install these front two windows, but we have something very special that we have to do. Let me rip this plastic down so you can hear me. All right, so we are going to be installing two windows right here. That's the most common way I see this done for large openings like this, two windows side by side. I suppose you could probably get a custom made window for this, but that would have been way out of our budget. So how do you put two windows together? So in order to install two windows together, we have to use what's called a mole bar. It's got a couple different names, but that's the way I know it as. I have never actually installed a mole bar before. I have watched one YouTube video, so I am now a professional. Not really. We're gonna figure this out today. And it's not as simple as just bolting in this kit right here. We have to do some trimming and modifications of our other windows, so we have to get this exactly right. And we'll have to caulk and seal everything together, plus screw and actually, well, screw it together and secure it before we install two very heavy windows in the front right here. Obviously, I'm going to need help to do this, so Tiffany's gonna help me put these in a little later once we figure out how to put them together. So here is the first problem that we have. We have got to put both of these windows together, but as you can see, they're designed with a nailing flange right here on either side to be installed by themselves. So we are actually gonna have to trim this off so we can get these together, figure out how to bolt them from the bottom. So let me go ahead and read through these instructions real quick. All right, so I'll be the first to admit these instructions are horrible. You can't even call them instructions. It's basically just a parts list and I don't see any other paperwork anywhere else. So we're gonna have to kind of guess at some of this. I tried watching some videos online. Sadly, none of them of this exact installation. It's all other different manufacturers um, and they are different. So I'm gonna have to kind of take my best guess at this, but it is very obvious that these inside nail flanges have to come off. So I'm gonna take a razor knife and just kind of run down Either side, this is thin plastic. It's gonna take a few trips down with the razor knife, snap these off, trim everything up where it's nice and flush because this bar has to go in between these two right here. So we need nice clean edges in order to clamp the windows to it. All right, let's destroy windows that you can't get right now. Luckily I bought these months ago, but windows just are not available right now. All right, so there's both nail flanges off. Takes quite a while. I'm on my second razor blade there. Gotta make a bunch of passes before it wants to snap off. All right, now something that's critical right here, where they basically melt these windows together, this vinyl, to seal everything up, it pokes way out, so it doesn't give you a flat surface. So you have to trim that back top and bottom of the window, basically that melted edge, until you get it nice and flush. One thing worth noting with this bar, it has holes on one side only. Those go to the interior where we'll mount it to some blocks later. And it has holes down here on the bottom that need to match up with the screw holes on the window itself on both sides there. So I have everything orientated where the windows are technically facing out. This bar is facing out. We're gonna go ahead and run a bead of caulk on it. And uh, it's a special type that's really flexible that also has some silicone in it. So there's some give here and uh, we shouldn't have to worry about cracks down the road. Then we're gonna put it in, kind of sandwich everything together and I'm gonna show you how we're going to uh, briefly connect it.
Now, if you'll notice, there's also grooves on either side of this bar for where one of these molding strips goes in. We'll put a little bit of caulk in that too. All right, so now we'll take this molding strip, as I keep calling it, put it down in there, and those grooves actually have a small rounded over edge, and this snaps underneath that and locks in. Take a rubber mallet. So the problem that I had is I could not get this molding strip. This is for the back side and uh, there's for the front side. They're identical. I could not get it to snap in the grooves to save my life. I tried running it in every direction I could think of. As you can see, these grooves right here are notched. They actually go into a groove into the window and snap underneath. And no matter how hard I tried, I could not beat the grooves in to snap in or slide them in from this direction. I've seen both techniques done online on the little bit of videos that I could find. Now it's not very cold today. It was in the 40s this morning. It's out here in the 60s, maybe even 70 degrees right now. So this shouldn't be all that stiff. Cold weather shouldn't be a problem here. So I've spent the last couple of hours lubing this up with silicone spray, trimming back with razor knives, trying everything I could to get this to fit. The only way I was able to get this to fit, and it was a painstaking process, was to take a heat gun, heat these little strips, work them in each side one at a time until they finally molded and conformed enough. And instead of being that tight pattern you see like this, I got them to bend back out and make more of a U shape. Then it snaps right in. So be prepared. If you do these windows, you may have to have a heat gun Heat this up as you work it into the track so you can kind of straighten it out as you go. Then the piece will actually snap in like it's supposed to. <sighs> All right, so now that that aluminum bar is on the inside here, we have to go ahead and get our little mounting tabs inside of this. Keep in mind this is the outside of the window so the tabs have to go in toward the inside. We got one down below for the window sill plate, one for the top header. So we need to go ahead and get them in, slap some tape on here, so whenever we stand this up and go put it inside, these don't fall down in here, which they very easily can do. This is uh, kind of a crazy design right here, so I'm gonna have to depend on tape to not allow these to fall in, or we'll have to pull the window completely back out. All right, so we're back on day two, attempting to put these windows in. So Tiffany and I tried to install them yesterday, but they're just too heavy for her. She didn't feel comfortable trying to lift her side up. You don't realize how heavy these windows are until you get two of them together. It's already quite heavy for me to lift one by myself. So before we damaged anything, dropped these, or uh, you know, broke them, we decided to call that off. Now the issue is this week, not a good week for getting help out here. Um, we got some holiday stuff coming up, although very early, it's very early holiday stuff. So I don't really have family available to come help. Friends are tied up working. So I have to figure out, can I actually install this by myself? I think I've figured out a way. All of the instructions I can find online, not for this window, but for other ones show putting together on the vents just like this. I'm going to have to try to put this together in the actual window opening over there, one window at a time. I think I have left myself a big enough rough opening to do that and still get a good sealed joint. So let's take this back apart <laughs> after it took hours to get together and see if uh, we can install two windows by ourselves. This is going to be interesting. So like I said, typically you put both of these windows in together after you put the mold bar in. But I'm gonna leave the mold bar attached to one side of the window. Put that window in, I've already measured. I know I have a half inch extra play here for my rough opening. 
That should give me just enough room to seal up the other side of the mold bar, slide this other window in and sandwich it to it to get that seal that I need and still allow me a small gap on the other side for uh, foam sealing out the window later. I'll show that. Let me see if I can go ahead and get this first window roughly set in and then we'll try to get the second window in right behind it. So all I'm gonna do is loosely tack the window in with a couple of nails so I can kind of go measure everything. And I won't fully nail it in until after we get the other window in. All right, so there is the aluminum brackets in this, inside the mold bar. I've got them pulled all the way out to where there is a tab touching the inside of the bar right here, which we'll shoot some screws in. But before we do that, we have to put this aluminum bracket on there. It fits over this tab and allows me four different mounting points down into the window sill. So let's get that attached. And the kit did come with some self-tapping screws, but I like to pre-drill the hole anyways. Not trust these screws. All right, that's the ticket. Hit this strip with the heat gun first to kind of open up the tabs, pops right in. Now I gotta clean all this mess up from this rubber mallet. All right, never mind all the rubber mallet mess. That cleans right up, I've already tested that. But now we have this strip in over the bar. It's caulked both sides. So all that's left to do is seal out the window on the inside. We'll show you that in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and catch the outside, get that sealed up. All right, so now that the window is nailed all the way in, everything's nice, plumb, and level, and I've got it caulked in from the outside, it's time to put on some of this zip flashing tape right here to really seal this in. So you start with the edges, then you go to the top. That way the top piece shingles over the cut edge on this to give you a good waterproof seal. And if y'all watched the episode where I did window prep, I left this flap up here just for this. So now, if I pull that flap down, it comes over that plastic window flange, that vinyl flange. So whenever I tape this now to the window itself, 
any water that ever drives behind here and comes down the vapor barrier will come over the flashing tape I'm about to install straight to the sealed plastic frame of the window, out over the window, or around and down. But this flap is important to bring over the window edge. All right, so yes, it is possible to install a double window with a molding bar by yourself. Although I still recommend put it together on the bench and get two to three people to help you to put it in. Really, you probably need three people, one inside, two outside to really do this correctly. But it worked out. Everything is uh, nice and sealed the way it should be. We'll go ahead and put this thing in fast forward. I'm gonna knock out some more windows and then at the end, we'll slow it back down I'll show you how we'll seal up the insides of all the windows to make for sure this thing is airtight and waterproof. All right, so one critical way to seal out air for a window is to use spray foam and actually seal in around the windows. We've already put all of our flashing tape in for our moisture barrier. Now we want to really seal out for air. So we did a really good job of sealing the house wrap to the wood to help with, again, moisture and air. That was critical for air. But now we're going to do a second step of sealing. So I'm going to take this new little gun that I got, use some window and door spray foam. This is an open cell spray foam, just like this stuff right here. So it gives a little. Putting closed cell in here, especially in these old flimsy vinyl windows, can actually bow them because it kind of, uh, it dries hard basically. And it swells enough that it can warp and bow your windows, make them hard to open and close. So use the window and door stuff. All right, well, it's starting to look more and more like a home. I'm so glad to get that old floppy plastic out of there and get some real windows in. So everything is nice and sealed up. One other thing I forgot to mention, anytime you install a molding strip right here in the middle like we did, these little weep edges, I don't know, they're a little trough, but they're for water to weep in. See how they're sealed up right there? You have to trim those out down there before you snap your trim piece in right here. So I did forget to mention that or show that. So I thought I'd say it now, but wow, we've got windows all the way around. 
So now we're just waiting on the glass company to show up with the custom windows. And I'm hoping tomorrow I get the phone call for the doors. So there you are. We're starting to really look like something now. There's the kitchen window and here's the bathroom window. Went ahead and got that installed as well. It's got a design on the inside. Maybe we can see it. So the last window to install is this one right here. We won't do that until we're getting ready to put siding on that wall, which that's coming. And then I'm done with the windows. So here's the bathroom one. Not much going on there, but it's got a little design. Looks so different in the house now having windows. I like it. Just makes it feel that much more like a home. I still can't get over how there's no echo or nothing in here now with all this uh, insulation. So there's our view. This was a good day's work. Um, believe it or not, the windows felt like they actually went in easier once we got the front ones figured out than all the preparation for the windows. You know, cutting out everything, sealing up everything, taping, getting ready. Oftentimes that's the case, like with painting and everything else. The painting is the easy part, it's all the prep work. That's kind of how it was for windows. I did not think at all I was going to get every window installed today, especially fighting with those, but I did, and I'm really happy with that. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this episode. We'll catch you on the next one.